Sony announced recently its PlayStation Production Studios has three movies and seven TV shows in the works. However, this isn't necessarily new news, but more of an update on its plans to utilize its PlayStation IP catalog, which they announced two years back. With the first of these movies to be released this year, with Tom Holland as Nathan Drake for Uncharted. It's a unique position as they know these franchises. All production stays in house and they can attach the right people, the creators and the talent behind these games to each IPs as they see fit. We're already seeing that with Neil Druckmann from The Last of Us being attached to the HBO counterpart. And he will play a role in the development, rest assured. The PlayStation brand is extremely important to Sony, coming from 12% of its overall revenue in 2011 to 24% in 2019. And it's the developers and directors of these first party studios that enables that. But my question isn't really, is this good for Sony? That's a no-brainer. You get an established IP with a user base in the millions. The question is, will this move to film translate to more PlayStation video game sales? That's a tricky one. Usually the answer would be no. Video games to cinema generally don't work. But in some cases, and in particular for the young audiences, it does. It's generally more vice versa. The best example would be the Pokemon video game franchise. There was this constant loop that got you when you were a kid. You had the video games, which everyone wanted, you had the trading card games, and you had the TV series and movies. If you weren't interested in one segment, the others would get you. That could bode well for its family-orientated franchises, but I'm not convinced they have the IPs in that category that are popular enough among that demographic to impact sales that much. On the other side with its mature content, let's have a look at Game of Thrones for example. Just because you like or love everything Fire and Ice doesn't mean you would transition to the game. Take Telltale Games as a perfect example for casual gaming with this IP. Nothing too complicated about this game, simple in its mechanics and has exactly what the fans would want. Story. Even better, a choose your own adventure story. However, this didn't translate to sales, neither did the Resident Evil video games franchise. And that's what I mean when I say vice versa. It's the young ones you're going to capture. So think Detective Pikachu or Sonic. No one is watching World of Warcraft and going to pick up this game. That just isn't happening. And even if you do, it doesn't necessarily mean it ties into your interests. Strategy, shooter, adventure, simulation. Sci-fi is my thing, so the endless space lore as a TV series or movie would be perfect. But these type of games, not so much. I can't really see myself watching this as a casual and then going to go pick up this kind of game. It just doesn't resonate in that way. With that said, there is one game that shows the trend is changing. Meet Geralt. Upon release of the TV series, The Witcher 3 saw a stark increase in sales by 64% in comparison to the previous year. Also, more people were just playing the games again with around 100k players on Steam four years after its launch. That's pretty impressive. That number matters from a financial perspective. The DLC is about of microtransactions during the game, that's just small profits and all that came about just because the TV series had a successful launch. Now the show itself wasn't particularly amazing, but a fan favorite nonetheless similar to Venom. Maybe The Witcher was just too big of an IP to ignore, maybe we won't see the same stats with season 2, maybe Sony understands if done correctly they can boost both divisions. The blend between video game storytelling and cinema aren't entirely distinguishable anymore. No better IP expresses that than Uncharted. Come July 16 we'll have a better understanding when that drops. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content, do leave a like. And if you're interested in movies, games, comics, podcasts on these topics, go ahead and subscribe. And once again, thank you.